To begin, audio number one of level two of four level two certification, medicinal plant materials in complementary alternative medicine, practitioner consultant certification course. Level two of four level two certification. In level one, we looked at the science connecting many of our illnesses to chemical exposure. We learned how we're chemically and genetically damaged by the air we breathe, the water beverage we drink, and the product mats we use, and the foods that we eat. We also learn the reason for reducing, eliminating, and replacing damaging chemical products we use on a daily basis. In level two, we will begin to introduce the plant materials we in plant-based practice use in the replacement of those harmful chemicals. And by doing so, we change our health life from accumulative toxic living to a reduction of toxins in everyday life. Medicinal plant materials in complementary alternative medicine. It makes sense to look at plant essential oils and herbs as medicine, since these are the substances the world has used and continue to use in its struggle to survive. Of course, this is not a revelation for those people who have relied on plant medicine for their health care and maintenance. As mentioned in Level 1, we persist on being dependent upon the patrimony of medical botanical knowledge for mainstream medicine. In the meantime, the scientific method and PBCAM practice continues to validate the effectiveness of using the natural whole. This principle is fueled by a growing amount of anecdotal information, alternative thinking, and historical and scientific validation. The information in this text is compiled and presented based on the worth of plant essential oils and herbs for the replacement of medicinal products whose benefits no longer awaits the risk. In level two, we will cover the therapeutic properties of essential oils and briefly the related medicinal herb we work with. How to identify real plant essential oils. Let's begin by separating aromatherapy essential oils from the medicinal gray essential oils from now on we refer to as plant essential oils we use in PB Camp. You're welcome to view the YouTube video we posted in the late 1990s on how to identify plant essential oils. It is named How to Tell the Real Essential Oil in YouTube. We recorded this video when we realized that the majority of the essential oils sold as 100% pure were, all, uh, were oily, whereas plant essential oils are not. Many of these aromatherapy oils also did not keep their fragrance and all had a shelf life of about one to two years, again unlike the plant essential oils we use in our practice. We also realized that these essential oils were being marketed to people with limited knowledge of their use and safety. There's a difference between aromatherapy, the business, and aromatherapy in complementary alternative medicine. The term essential oils is interchangeable with organic and inorganic chemistry. In many cases, the term 100% essential oil could very well be 100% synthetic, and it may be unwise to depend upon information found on a label if you're going to practice plant-based health. As you continue to smell plant essential oils, you will develop your senses. Your experiences will guide you, and you will be able to detect the not-so-real essential oils. Until then, you may refer to the following information to help you identify the real plant essential oils and so that you don't have to depend on what a label may say or imply. Plant essential oils are not oily. They can be left open with evaporation or oxidation. They have a shelf life of 25 years plus. Due to the aromatic alcohols and fermentation, they become better with time, just like wine. Most of them can be placed directly on skin without any negative side effects. They can be combined in a synergy, meaning two or more oils with the same properties, and thought benefit from the law of synergy, which states that the therapeutic properties of each plant essential oils multiply by 100 to produce a combined effect greater than the sum of their separate effects. The power of a synergy will be covered in greater detail in level 3, 
in the blending video session and again in level 4. Obtaining the therapeutic properties from plants. There are three ways we obtain the therapeutic properties from the plant material. One of them is distillation and that's done by uh, families that have done this through many years, hundreds of years, and they're known for their distillation all over the world. The other one is in tea form. When we take the earth and put it in hot water and we extract the essential oils into the water. The flavor of the tea is the essential oil and the other one is in tincture. Through so distillation, we get plant essential oils of plant therapeutic properties and concentration. It takes an average of 20 pounds of plant materials to obtain one drop of plant essential oils. In tea, as, as, as a tea, we use hot water to draw out the plant essential oils and therapeutic properties, as mentioned. This method is recommended for internal use and consumption. We use the therapeutic properties of the plant material essential oil as a guide to identify the therapeutic properties of the tea. For example, since lavender plant essential oil has anti-inflammatory properties, then lavender flower tea is also anti-inflammatory and recommended for those who have inflammation issues. The plant essential oils also flavor the tea. In tincture, as in tea form, the therapeutic value of the plant essential oils transfer to the tincture. We extract the therapeutic properties by combining herbs with a hundred proof vodka. Once the tincture is mature, we place a few drops in a glass filled with filter water. It is recommended to wait five minutes for the alcohol to evaporate before drinking the water. By drinking the water, we absorb the therapeutic properties. Preparation of tincture is demonstrated in level three, further described in level four, and the process may be viewed in blending videos. Therapeutic properties of plant essential oils as practiced in PBCAM. We use in therapy, aromas work on three levels. Smell recognition, therapeutic value, and psychosomatic. Level 1, smell recognition. Since the beginning of our life, our minds have recorded smells and associate them with positive, negative, and indifferent situations. This is an automatic response affecting us before we perceive the association, and many times we're not aware as to why or when the association established itself. Memories are known to be imprinted and anchored to smells and ready to reappear to resurface upon smelling a specific fragrance. And level two is a therapeutic value. This requires a trained practitioner working with the right plant's essential oils. This controls the effectiveness of this level and level three is allowing the mind to participate in a person's healing. It's the most important aspect in the outcome of any healing. If we're what we think we are, then why not allow our thinking to assist in our healing? For some, their natural mode of operation is to self-destruct. The PBCAM practitioner consultant focus on this tendency and the, the use of a specific plant essential oils and or formulated plant essential oil synergies can stimulate positive behavior. Attaining positive effect on all three levels produces a very powerful force which may result in significant healing. These reactions are individualized as they are based on past smell anchored by memory and experience. It has been observed that by having a negative or positive reaction on any one of the three levels will influence the outcome of the effect of the other levels. Level three, psychosomatic, has the greatest influence. Let's go back to Level one, smell recognition. In a, in a case, um, a few years ago, we were working with uh, a woman in, their, in her 80s that uh, was stressed and needed to relax and uh, medication given by her doctor was not doing well for her and she was looking for uh, an alternative. So we began to use the de-stress synergy that you will learn how to blend in uh, level three. And uh, she repelled it, chilling like the smell of uh, the combination of ylang ylang, patchouli, and orange. In conversation, I found out that she was born and raised in Pennsylvania. Right away, uh, I went for the pines, um, 
thinking that in Pennsylvania many years ago there was a lot of pine trees and the smell was in the air. So I went for the pine and I, I put a few drops in her fingertips. Upon smelling, as she continued to talk, uh, you could see the circulation rushing into her face and, and, and relaxation. And her expression was, oh, this reminds me of walking with my grandmother in the forest. Bingo, we found her stress blend. That has nothing to do with the essential oil with uh, stress, but yes, in the smell recognition, it took her back to an area of her life where it was a happy time in her life. And this is how smell recognition works. It actually brings out good or bad memories. In the same subject, those, uh, those who were abuse during childhood might repel the smell of baby powder. This was seen uh, in, a, in a questionnaire that uh, I used while I was working in the um, uh, psychotherapist's office in documented cases. Uh, one of the questions was, how, how do you feel about baby powder? It's okay not to like a fragrance. It's another thing to have an emotion attached to the fragrance. And I would mark uh, the person didn't like baby powder. 10 out of 10 later on, the psychotherapist informed me that they were abused during childhood. So smell recognition, we remember we do anchor uh, memories and smell. There's a reason why we have an emotion within a smell. Some people uh, love the smell of Christmas trees. Other people are depressed by the smell for the same reason. So it's good for us to recognize this in, in, in our work. And, and utilize essential oils that bring positive memories and doesn't influence or instigate or brings to the surface negative energy or negative memories. How to use plant essential oils. The direction given in this manuals are provided only as guidance and should not be construed as medical advice. Read the cautions before using any plant essential oils, synergy or blend. There are many ways the PBCAM practitioner consultant can recommend the use of plant essential oils. The choice or choices will become clear to you as we continue to level four. Balneum bath, which is a medicinal term, uh, is from um, 1944 medical dictionary. And by the way, uh, if you begin to look at medical dictionary from 1944 and down, you're going to see lavender there as antibacterial, antiviral, eucalyptus, the same, and a few other essential oils, and, and terms like balneal baths, which is the use of uh, essential oils in a medicinal bath. How to do this? We fill the bathtub with warm water and add 10 to 20 drops of plant essential oils or, uh, or desired synergy. Just before entering the tub, swirl the water to distribute the oil or synergy evenly. Soak for at least 15 to 20 minutes, breathing in deeply and relaxing. Do not take a soap shower after bathing, as this could interfere with the aromas and the therapy. A balnea bath is recommended, but not limited to relieving calls, flu, muscle aches, skin conditions, insomnia, and stress. Result can be felt within a few minutes of the first bath. For individuals that can take a bath, we recommend a foot bath. For a foot bath, fill the pan with, water, with warm water and add four to six drops of the desired oil. Blend or, or, uh, or synergy and soak feet for 15 to 20 minutes. This is also an effective method to deliver the therapeutic properties of any plant essential oils. If we rub garlic essential oil or clove of garlic on the soles of your feet, in 20 minutes you'll be tasting garlic. That's the penetration of the essential oils into your bloodstream. The second is olfactory and smell, and the most popular one. Apply one to two drops of the desired plant essential oil or blend to your fingertips and rub the oils between your fingertips before gently applying to the outside of your nostril. Cup hand over your nose and gently breathe in deeply for a few seconds. The oil synergy or blend can be also applied via the palms of your hand. Just place one drop in the palms of your hands, rub your hands together, cup your hands over your nose and gently smell. Make sure to keep out of eye contact. To relieve headaches, apply one drop of the ACAM 
Add Xenergy to your fingertips and gently touch apply it to the left and right temple. Then apply it to the outside of the nostril. Cup your hands over your nose and gently breathe in deeply for a few seconds. Note, if your skin is sensitive, plant essential oils can also be effective by placing a few drops in a tissue and breathing in deeply for a few seconds. Use only when needed and do not exceed 8 to 10 times per day unless directed by a PB Cam practitioner consultant. Aerotherapy is another medical term that is used uh, for the fusion of essential oils into bacterial material in, in a room, in a sick room. This is for room diffuse for home and for work. Air conditioning system in a 24 to 36 ounce heavy duty spray bottle at 25 to 30 drops of desired plant essential oil or synergy and fill with filter water. Shake well and spray directly into the AC vents and on the AC filter weekly for the desired effect. Humidifier or the humidifier. Following your appliance direction, fill with water and add 20 to 30 drops of the desired plant essential oil as synergy. In an automobile, place 10 drops of plant essential oil synergy on a piece of cotton and place under the seat. Replace as needed. Important caution for the use of plant essential oils. Keep out of reach your children. If under doctor's care, consult her or him before using. Do not take internally by mouth unless directly by a medical doctor or nurse practitioner. Keep out of contact with your eyes. Do not use during pregnancy or if breastfeeding. If you have any adverse reaction, discontinue use. Always consult a qualified medical practitioner if ill, suffering from high or low blood pressure, or an undiagnosed illness. Use plant essential oils by drop and only as directed. Keep plant essential oils away from open flames and stream heat. Do not use rosemary if you have high blood pressure. Do use it if you have low blood pressure. Do not use ylang ylang if you have low blood pressure. But do use it if you have high blood pressure. Do not use bad method if you have to maintain a certain therapeutic level of medication in your system. Important notice. The FDA has stated that there is not sufficient scientific evidence to support the claims of aromatherapy. That is one of the reasons for the formation of PBCAM in this writings. The American Medical Association classifies aromatherapy as psychosomatic. The AMA research has shown that 87-90% to 90 of all known illness are psychosomatic. This confirms aromatherapy as a valuable complement to today's health care and maintenance. In the next section, the plant essential oils listed were selected for their safety and therapeutic benefit. This medicinal plant materials are the purpose and the foundation for the entire PBKN concept and protocols of practice. For health reasons, therapeutic performance and safety, we neither recommend nor recognize the use of any other medicinal plant material for PBKN practice and protocols. List of 100% plant essential oils used in our practice. The following information is supplied for educational purpose only. It is advisable to seek the counsel of a PB Camp practitioner consultant for guidance. Always consult a qualified medical practitioner if ill or suffering from high level of pressure or an online diagnosed illness. The plant essential oils as described as follow. Common name, natural formulary and or food chemical code rating if applicable, the country of origin, Latin name, botanical family, principal constituents, the perfume notes, the properties, interaction with other drugs, contraindications, and side effects, and anecdotal information, things that we have seen in the use of a certain essential oils, notes, cautions, and herbal tea. The above descriptions are further detailed as following. The principal constituent, here you will find a list of the main pieces that balance and make up the whole. Always remember that it is the whole that is used and observed for the therapeutic performance. Perfume notes. This is a classification of the volatility of the oil and is as follows. The top notes last for one to two hours. The middle notes last for about two to three days. The base notes last from three to seven days. Top notes need to be blended with a base note for holding quality.
It will prolong the effect of the lower nodes, as we will explain as we go on to level three. Contraindication, side effect, interaction with other drugs. This section is sourced from the German Commission A monogram, Blumendale, Belzol, Goldberg, Rowell, Hall, Klein, Riggin, and Brister, the American Botanical Council, which is the FDA of Germany, the Commission E monogram is. Anecdotal information. This is based on our observations of the uses and performance of plant essential oils and related medicinal herbs in the PBCAM practice. Most of the oils meet the standards set forth by the Food Chemical Codex, the FCC, and all the national formulary, NF. These agencies are in charge of setting the standard for plant materials used in scientific research and in flavoring industry. If applicable, you will find the NF and or the FCC rating next to the essential oil name. Notes. Pay attention to the pieces, essential oils, active ingredients, and their definitions, therapeutic merits. This will guide you in the composing synergy and non-toxic products and blends. Caution. Any caution pertaining to the use of that particular essential oils is listed here. We begin with anise. Anise is distilled from the dry and crushed seed of the herb that originated in the Near East. This oil has a sweet, fresh smelling uh, aroma is colorless and very pale yellow. Can be used for a digestive problem for spasmodic cough. But we prefer for cough, kajaput. That's our favorite. Uh, anise we use seldom uh, with nutmeg uh, to create uh, what we call a blend that um, upon smelling in the hands of an addiction counselor uh, and in treatment of an individual, upon smelling, it could, and it has, um, been able to act as a deterrent for their addiction. But this needs to be used, uh, the combination of anise and nutmeg, uh, by a qualified addiction counselor. But we're able to provide the synergy of anise and nutmeg. Although it acts like a spectrum is mildly antipasmodic, and antibacterial in nature, we prefer other oils for this purpose. Basil. Now, basil is one that we use for alert. Uh, although it has calming yet uplifting effect, and it's excellent for those who are tired and worn out by overwork. Uh, basil is another favor for to flavor non-toxic toothpaste. It's also very effective as an inhalant when feeling tired or to increase alertness. It blends well with peppermint and spearmint for breath freshener. A few drops of each in, a, in, in some water in a spritz bottle and just spray in your mouth. You'll see that in our blending videos. And you have a nice breath freshener, which is antibacteria. In our practice, we blend basil, rosemary, lemon, peppermint, and ginger as an energy synergy inhaler, as you will see in level three. Bergamot. Bergamot is... Uh, Uplifting, sweet, spicy lemon odor is emerald green in color. is known as an antipasmodic and calmative when smell. It is used to increase appetite and to decrease anxiety and depression. So we can use bergamot in any of the synergies or products we use to relax someone. It may be diffused for respiratory uh, problems. It is powerful antiseptic and is also helpful when used in a bath, 8 to 10 drops, uh, to address general illnesses. Anecdotal information, with a pleasant aroma, this essential oil is a favor for stress release and as a non-toxic product in perfume. Bergamot deodorizing qualities are a good choice for bad breath and underarm and foot deodorizer. It is effective for oily skin when blended with geranium rose. For acne, it is effective when blended with tea tree. It is best when blended with lavender for skin problems like seborrhea of the scalp, herpes, and psoriasis. Bergamot, like all citrus essential oils, increases skin photosensitivity, and for this reason, it is used in rapid suntan blends as uh, one of the formulations in uh, level three. You should avoid using bergamot in blends in which the effect of the sun should not be increased. In tea form, the robust aromatic herb of bergamot has been traditionally used as a relaxing antidepressant tea. It is also recommended for the cold and flu season. Birch. Now, birch 
is one of our main analgesic, which renders the pain numb, together with clothes. The bark of the tree has been used from building boats to writing papers. The leaves are distilled to obtain the essential oil, which is clear in color with a camphor-like smell. Birch essential oil has been time-tested as an effective muscle relaxer and validated as a diuretic by the Commission e monogram. Anecdotal information. An excellent addition to muscle eccentricity for some, it is an effective aphrodisiac for very few. It is also a very effective insect repellent when mixed with citronella, lemongrass, and cedarwood atlas. Birch is one of our analgesics which renders the pain numb, as we mentioned. Now, black pepper is hot. It's also an analgesic, and we don't use it as much uh, because we have the clove and we have the birch. But for those who want to add an extra uh, power to their muscle ache blend, a few drops of black pepper might be a good choice. Uh, because with potency, the soil needs to be used only by drops diluted with vegetable oil. Black pepper has analgesic benefits, which makes it a great choice for muscle ache pain, synergies, and blends. Cachaput. This is one of the main oils that we use. This oil, you want it in your, uh, in your kit if you're going to practice this in uh, plant health. Because this is the oil that we go to to stop someone from coughing. And upon application and smell... Um, coughing stops. It's a great choice also for muscle aches, excellent for respiratory problems. It can be used by itself for blending a synergy with other respiratory related oil. But for coughing, it's the main one that we use it for. Catch a put. Calendula is excellent for skin care. It's a very thick, sticky, a very strong, musky, woodsy smell. It's a tonic and anti inflammatory property, it makes this a wise addition to any skincare synergy or blend, especially for sensitive skin. It is also very relaxing, essential oil recommended for bath during stressful time. In herbal tea form, the golden yellow flowers are used for tea, and we use it in every single tea that we blend. And I recommend this as a relaxing tea with anti inflammatory and skincare benefits. It is one of the ingredients in PB Chem as a reflux tea blend and in PB Chem eye care lotion, as we mentioned it in the Level three. Now cardamom, it's a little pricey, so we don't use this as much. Um, but we can use it as an ingredient in PB Chem non toxic toothpaste. It's like, as a good addition for sick room diffusion, sinus and cold synergies, and natural perfume synergies and blend. But once again, it is uh, so pricey at the moment that uh, we have other oils that can do this. Now, moving to carrot seed, this is a popular oil for skincare. It's a must to have. This essential oil contains an aminadinodal anodotal inflammation. It contains carotene and vitamin A and E, which makes it effective for non toxic suntan oil blends. Antioxidant in this essential oil repair a lot of the damage done to skin by ox oxidants, free radicals, and prevent the free radical from doing further harm. In addition, the lemonanine constituent makes it an effective first choice for skincare blends and salve. Used only by drops in all blends and ingredients in PB Chem skincare blends and psoriasis care salve. Cedarwood. And we prefer to work with Cedarwood Atlas. There's Cedarwood Virginia and Cedarwood Atlas. Both of them have the same properties. The Cedarwood Virginia uh, has a lesser smell than the Cedarwood Atlas. The Cedarwood Atlas smells like the Cedarwood Closets. It has a pleasant, mild, balsamic, woody odor and is yellow in color. It is one of the oldest oils to be produced. It was used by the Egyptians uh, when embalming the dead and to treat oily skin, oily hair, dandruff, and also for mucus, cough, and, and colds. And it all information. This is a great oil to use for smell recognition and for its relaxing qualities. It is time-tested as an anti-putrid, making this an effective skincare oil. Use it for acne, oily skin, or blend it with tea tree, 10 drops to an ounce of shampoo, for dandruff or severia of the skull. Cedarwood is effective as a natural insect repellent, especially for moth, termites, and roaches, just like the fragrance from the cedarwood closet. Cedar was an ingredient in ACAM insecticide synergy. It is also 
what we use to relieve itching. And that's important because this is a must in a practitioner's kit. Because if anyone has any condition that is itching, Cereal Atlas by itself upon application stops the itching that fast. That's what we have seen. That's anecdotal information. That's what we're trying to prove wrong, but it works all the time. So cedarwood, just like kachapur, they're a specific to our practice. This is what we go to when we need to stop somebody from itching. And we use it in direct application. Celery seed. And oral information. Use in a bath by itself or blend with juniper berry or grapefruit as a diuretic for water retention. For depression, use it by itself or blend with lavender or any other citrus oil. A 1997 study for the National Cancer Institute by Luke Lamb, PhD, analyzed the chemical con uh, constituents of celery seed oil. It concluded that the compound sedanoline and butylthiolene reduces the incidence of tumors in laboratory animals anywhere from 38 to 57 percent. Studied by William Keller, Ph.D., Division of Medicinal Chemistry and Pharmaceutical, Northeast Louisiana University, also suggests that celery seed oil may help in lowering blood pressure and cholesterol. The tea? To prepare tea, pour boiling water over one teaspoon of freshly crushed seeds. Let it steep for 10 to 15 minutes before drinking. Drink as needed. Now the next one is another oil that we need in our kit if we're going to practice uh, this in plant health, which is chamomile German. The essential oils are still from the herb which grows all over Europe. This oil has a deep ink blue color due to the high contents of the azulinine, which imparts its anti-inflammatory properties. It contains bisabol oil known to relax the muscular lining of the digestive system. The tea has many uses, including the relieving stomach cramps, period pains, insomnia, and any kind of uh, skin irritation or inflammation. Its antipasmodic action makes this oil valuable in asthma uh, inhalers. Uh, research shows it increased white blood cells activity, which is your body's first line of defense against infection. It is an ingredient of Aiken Respiratory Synergy and Plant-based cam and skincare blend. It is also used in plant-based cam and skincare clay. The flower is an ingredient in PV cam as a reflux tea, insomnia tea, and anti-inflammatory tea blend. The only difference between the chamomile German and the chamomile Roman, they both have a solanine, they both have the same properties, but the chamomile Roman is uh, has a a milder smell. Uh, the chamomile German has more medi medicinal smell, and some people prefer one or the other. Uh, the chamomile Roman uh, smells like a like a fine perfume. And a dull information on the Roman because of its concentration. This oil is used by drop only. This oil is effective by itself or blended with any other oil. It is used in a chem. A PMS, menopause, synergy for painful periods, muscle aches, and pain, especially after sports. Nervousness, anxiety, depression, insomnia, irritability, and tantrums in children. It can be used in skincare blends for acne, broken veins, burns, dryness, hypersensitivity, inflammation, and wound care due to his uh, anti-allergic, antiseptic properties. Research shows it increases white blood cells activity which is the body's first line of defense against infection and recommended in a synergy with tea tree for an immune booster bath. Both of the chamomiles are great for relaxation. However, the aroma of the Roman chamomile is truly a fine perfume. Caution, do not use on anyone with allergies to ragweed as chamomile is a member of the ragweed family. This tea is another favorite for its calmative and anti-inflammatory properties. Let me go back to chamomile blue. Chamomile blue, because of a, 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 a solanine, uh, which is what makes it blue, cancels any redness of the face. So it is used by itself for anyone who becomes flush of red, whether it's a lupus uh, mask or it's just flush red in uh, uh, nervousness and getting in front of, uh, of people and talking. So for those who become flush with redness in the face, just a drop of it um, 
in the, in the skin, it cancels the red. Here we're working in the law of color. Blue cancels red. So this is uh, very effective for, for that type of uh, condition. Cinnamon. Cinnamon essential is distilled from the inner bark and leaves of a bush native to East India and Indonesia. The oil has a powerful, warm, sweet, spicy odor and must be well diluted before using. As some people, it could be irritating to the skin. The stimulating property of this oil makes it useful for circulation and muscle ache condition. The best country of origin is Sri Lanka. Cassia is shiny cinnamon and the essential oil is harder to find. Cinnamon oil is reddish in color while cassia is much redder. Cinnamon was an ingredient in ancient Egyptian embalming mixture. The Bible mostly used it as a holy anointing oil. An adorable information. This oil, as with all warm spices, should be used by the drop in synergy or diluted in vegetable oil for muscular aches and pains. Use two drops of cinnamon and four to six drops of citronella per ounce of shampoo as slice repellent. Cinnamon is an uh, antiseptic known for its ability to kill the bacteria that causes tooth decay and gum disease. As such, it is an excellent active ingredient for non-toxic toothpaste. Human studies involve a subject with type 2 diabetes consuming 1 to 3 or 6 grams of cinnamon per day for 40 days concluded that compound present in cinnamon may have beneficial effects on glucose, insulin, and blood lipids and may be beneficial for the prevention and treatment of diabetes. The bark or the powder can be blended with other herbs for sugar control tea. Now, anecdotal information based on this science, what we recommend someone who wants to bring their sugar levels down is to just suck on a stick of cinnamon bark and just suck it and uh, just before they go to bed and within two days, suck it once in a while through the, through the day, within two days they can check their sugar level and they will see their sugar level uh, have been going down. And yes, the science is correct. It does that. As simple as that. So, to the point that if you have low sugar, you don't want to suck on a cinnamon stick and you don't want any cinnamon because you will use your energy. It will bring your sugar level down. Very effective. More on that on level four. Citronella. Now, we all know citronella is uh, insect repellent. Great for mosquitoes, ticks, fleas, and lice. Using... Uh, Shampoos, natural insecticides, and personal insecticide repellent. Anadrol information. This is an undisputed insect repellent recommended for indoor diffusion by itself or in combination with other oils, an ingredient in PB Camp insecticide products. Clary Sage. This oil has a bittersweet herbous odor and it has soothing and sedative effects, while at the same time it works to strengthen the nervous system. It is one of the best muscle relaxers, useful for muscle cramps and or pain. As with all essential oils, quality varies according to use and manure, the time of day of picking and the dryness of the plant. It grows in Russia, Morocco, and South of Africa. Anadol information. First choice for cramps and muscle, air, muscle aches. Blend it in a synergy with the muscle relaxing benefits of sage dalmatian and the anti-inflammatory benefits of lavender. And ingredients in ACAM Muscle A Plus Synergy, effective when smelled to reduce high blood pressure. Caution, as with any muscle relaxing essential oil, it should not be used in anybody during pregnancy. Clary Sage is one of those oils that you want in your practitioner kit because it's one of the muscle relaxers that we use together with sage. Very effective by itself and in combination. Clove bud. This oil is colorless with a hint of yellow. It obtained by distillation of the hand-picked and dry flower buds of the evergreen clove tree which are grown in the Far East in Africa. As it matures, the color turns to dark brown. It has a strong stimulating effect and also has pain-relieving properties. It is an antiseptic oil useful as a room fumigant. We're told that in the middle of the rainy season, the hot human atmosphere dispersed the fragrance of the clove tree 
all over the land where they grew and the lack of sickness in these areas is a tribute to the medicinal scent emitted from this strong antiseptic tree. It is one of our analgesic oils used in pain management products and to alleviate toothaches and infections. Anadolu information. This oil is a first choice for toothaches, not only for its natural analgesic quality, but also for its antiseptic and anti-inflammatory benefits. And ingredients in PBCAM, non-toxic toothpaste, also in ACAM Muscle Aid Plus Synergy, as with all other members of the warm spices, clove essential oils may be irritant, some skin types, and must be very well diluted before using. Cypress. By the way, clove is one of those that you want in your, uh, in your practitioner kit because we use it with birch in our muscle ache synergies and products as an analgesic. We also go to clove when we need to uh, go into anything for toothache or infection while the person is waiting to go to the dentist. Cypress is another one that belongs in your practitioner kit. Uh, is a one that is a bronchial dilator. Uh, it actually opens up your respiratory passage. So it's excellent for those with emphysema, with asthma. For anyone who has a respiratory problem, Cypress is the one to go to. Uh, it is a must for asthma, synergy, and for combating uh, respiratory problems. 20 drops used in a bath have been known to shrink hemorrhoids. So it's another, it's one of the oils that we need in that kit for multi-uses. This oil is known to shrink hemorrhoids within one or two baths, and it's equally effective for inflamed veins, and that means for uh, any creams that uh, you make for, uh, for the legs, for anyone who has inflamed veins uh, circulation. Because hemorrhoids is a vein, and it reduces in one to bath, it's excellent also for any veins in the legs and for circulation. So there's another oil that you want in your kit. We have just completed the audio one of level two. We begin soon with audio two of level two.